Yeah, I grew up in the Van Damme era. Jean-Claude Van Damme. I love saying that. My last name is Ram. So, you know, there's a joke about me at work in every career path. Jean-Claude Van Ram is in the building. And what you saw is, is, is a clip that was not shot 10 years ago, 15 years ago. That was a clip that was shot two weeks ago. Digest that for a second. I'm a Gen Xer and I move like that. When a lot of people see that, their jaw is like, what the hell? I don't carry myself as like, yeah, no, I am humble. Many times, if you look at me, you won't be able to tell that that guy can mimic Jean-Claude Van Damme. I mean, I grew up watching the guy. Half the time, the guy was doing splits in blood sport and kickboxer. What do you expect? Something, something went off, you know, a light bulb went on. It wasn't toxic masculinity or anything. None of that BS stuff that, that us modern culture today is, is, is trying to brainwash us in. My father put me into martial arts, uh, as a kid, as, as a very young age. I've been meaning to do a video about how martial arts changed my life forever. I was not the same. Sometimes, you know, iconic movies like Bloodsport, Bruce Lee movies, even, the Karate Kid, Mr. Miyagi. These are, these are <laughs> Sylvester Stallone. I mentioned, I, I, I'll mention that again. I'm pretty sure, but this is what we were exposed to, folks, like back in the day. This is why I'm proud to be a Gen Xer. I grew up at a time where fight movies, it was a thing. You know, like it encouraged young boys to be a man, if that makes sense. I don't even want to talk about today's culture. Everything is offensive. Everything is, I got my feelings hurt. I'm hurt. You're toxic. You're this, that. No. We come from an era where we just know. Like, there's certain roles. There's certain responsibilities. And a man can do what he does best. A woman does what she knows best. And I'm not going to say what those things are. Somehow, we just came together back in the day. It's a very old school mentality. I, I get it. When I look at where we're going today as a society, I can't say it's promising. I can't, I can't say that the kids today, Gen Z, I, I, I would give anything to be 21 again, sure. But I even have to keep a distance from my niece and nephew. Like, and this is nothing wrong with that either. Like, I, I, nothing but love for them. But I keep a distance is because they have a mind of their own. Their arguments, their logic, I don't blame them. I just don't have the fuel and mental capacity to, one, fathom the, the, the way their logic, the, the way they reason things and the way they say things. It's the climate we're in. I don't blame them. I'm not saying I'm right, but some of the stuff, not just them, like some of the stuff that I hear from today's generation, um, just generally speaking, you know what I mean. If you're a Gen Xer, you know what I mean. I, I just don't get it. I, I, I am not with it, folks. This video really is to talk about where are we today with, you know, the Gen X fitness. We are at a stage now where I am realizing and it's, it's kind of dawning on me that the boomers are passing on, meaning that life is happening. And I am very well attuned and aware that life is happening and I am moving with the flow of life. And uh, I think I'd be remiss to say that I see a lot of my, my folks, meaning that my Gen X, Gen Xs, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Us Gen Xs. Well, our time is now, meaning that this is, we, Gen X, we are a special generation. We found a way to get things done. We are fighters. We are survivors. And I know that sounds like a song, but it's really true. Back in my day, okay, we used to sort it out in the backyard. So if you and I have a problem, that beef would be just like the movies. You know, I grew up at a time when Sylvester Stallone, Ro you know, Rocky Balboa was a thing. Those types of themes were actually existent in uh, real life. And so we would break out with 
fighting like that and if you have a problem with someone you know that dude me we have a problem uh let me just say i get my behind whooped or i whoop his behind or it's a draw uh and we shake hands and we move on it doesn't matter how bloody we are how badly we got hurt i mean this is all out brawl let's sort out no 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 soft era culture here folks you know I may look a certain way, you know, but, you know, when it gets down to business, we have to handle business. And that's how it was back in the day. So a clean cut image, yeah, but but us Gen X's, man, we knew how to throw down. And uh, some of us still do. And the way the wisdom shines through today is a smile. Is It's not so much the uh, cockiness. It's, it's, it's the matter of fact that, damn... If you'd only know, it's kind of that 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 moment you have, like well, you have no idea, son. And I can't believe I'm saying son because these days I I've been told I look like many people's son. I don't look my age, and I'm gonna get to that. But that's the culture climate I come from, you know. And I'm so proud to be from that generation, even though I wish I had more time. If I could turn back the hands of clock and say, I wish I had 15 more years and I would do this, 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 that's, that's a wish list. That's a dream, right? I will say, though, I'm living my best life today. In fact, as I grew older, I got into fitness. I got into intermittent fasting and I got into more self-care because, you know, the way I look at this is that if I wasn't putting in the work through that, through my 20s and 30s and now into the 40s, I wouldn't be here. Uh, I see a lot of people dying today, a lot of younger people. I have, I have a couple of my boys um, in their 30s, and uh, some of them have health issues. And I have had one or two pass away in the space of two years. And... It wasn't too long ago we were talking about, you know, making poking fun of fun at me that, hey, bro, I can't believe you're into your 40s and you're going to be 50 soon, you know, blah, blah, blah. Like fast forwarding me into old age as if things stop working, you know, and I would laugh with them. But what's what the irony here is that that same person is no longer here on this planet. A really good buddy of mine at work when I wasn't living in California, and he's gone. Now, the circumstances, let's respect the privacy. I'm not going to go there, but uh, I will say that I've seen more younger people today, Gen Z especially. I'm not going to talk smack because I have a niece and nephew that are Gen Zs, and if you put me next to them, we almost blend in together. There's a little bit of a disconnect misunderstanding of who Gen X is. We get lumped in with the boomers. We are not. We're nothing like that. I must say we're better. But I just see Gen X as, as the next generation to step up and bring some reality. Um, you know, we we need to deliver some reality checks to our youngins. Yeah, I mean my father didn't really was not much of a fighter. But what he fed me were uh, movies. Uh, and even in Bollywood, there was a lot of fight scenes in Bollywood. So we, we come from that environment. And when, we, when you watch movies like that and, and when you grow up in the era that we did, we just handled business. It made you want to be a man, like go out and train and lift, up, lift things and throw things around. And, you know, we were handyman. There we go. I even remember my uncles being very active, like in, in yard work. You know, just doing work in the backyard and just being around that, you know, being, being around tools, being around cars, getting your hands dirty, even though I may not look like it, but I, I, I love getting dirty. I love to work on cars. I, I, I love my car washes. I mean, it's a ritual. It, washing your car is a ritual. I don't know if you know that was a thing, but back then it's a thing until today I have... I have one or two boys, like, when we come together sometimes, I'm in Vegas now, but when we do come together and say it's car wash, we know what day it is. That car wash can also mean barbecue, a couple of beers, and good long talks, like deep conversations. 
It wasn't just about the car wash. It was about life. And so I'm at a stage where I'm able to do a lot of things that I thought would not be possible physically. And I thank my father for putting me into all of those art forms, martial arts, you know, um, giving me the tools to succeed by exposing me to certain material, content, movies. Um, I don't talk about my mother so much as because I never really had one. Um, and I will do a video on that complete separately, meaning that biologically, yes, she gave birth to me, but uh, she wasn't really uh, a mother per se. I've had other women in my life, extended family members, meaning that I found a home elsewhere uh, through one of my best friends where I grew up with in San Mateo. His name is, uh, his artist name is Ajax, but his real name is Ajan Johan. Who's actually, he's, he's actually fighting a battle too, a health battle, Gen Xer. And so this segues into me doing this video is because health is wealth. And I've been training this way. I've been living a certain lifestyle for decades now. I've maintained all of this, 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 this body, this physique. I, you can look at my Instagram. This is not, this is not the place to show off. This is, this is really talking about a lifestyle that I live and abide by. And I've been doing intermittent fasting for since 2018. It completely changed my life. You know, it, re it reversed or temporarily just stopped aging. I'm always aging. We're all aging, but it does reverse. It does prolong, promotes healthy growth hormones. It improves your relationship with food. I talk, I talk a lot about this in other videos. Fasting induces growth hormones and, and, and spikes that up, improves testosterone. And testosterone, as we know in today's young men, is, is the lowest it's ever been. We know this. Gen Z, we know this. And so it's a responsibility as a Gen Xer here to start being a voice. Because, as I mentioned, you know, it's our time now um, to start telling our stories, to start leaving some legacies behind, to, to pass down wisdom and uh, ensure that these stories live on through our videos. I get a headache sometimes dealing with Gen Z. I do. And I don't want to be in a position to explain, argue, debate. You're right. I don't blame them. It's the culture we live in today. I'm not with the program. If you are a Gen Xer watching this, when I see my fellow Gen Xers withering away or not taking care of themselves, and especially if it's something that you can control, like your health, then maybe that's where I come in. I come in the mix. I can help. Like I said, it doesn't matter if you are a Gen Xer or no, and you're watching this. This is for all because it'll inspire. I know it will. If I can do this, so can you. If, if I can show you a certain lifestyle and live in a certain way that still beats 50 percent of the population if not more because today's generation is simply not trying it's easy to win today it's easier than ever as a gen xer i'm fully aware of the dating market i don't go around chasing younger women but i will tell you that my last two girlfriends we're in their 20s, and I'm currently dating a Colombian girl from Colombia in Vegas, and she's in her 20s. I clearly know that if I have taken care of myself, if I've done all the things, self-care is, is mental health too. Remember, um, if you're taking care of yourself, things will fall into place. I'm, I'm being reintroduced to a lifestyle I never thought. I've only imagined, right? If it hasn't been said, let me just say it. Every older man does fantasize, and we do think about our glory days. What if I could be 25 again? 
What if I could do all those things again? We all do it, fellas. We we still think we are the Van Damme. We, we are the Rocky Balboa. And you know what? You are. You are. You saw me doing some moves, right? I still am. I in my in my version in how I show up, I am Jean Claude Van Damme. I put in the work, and so a lot of this is to say, pass the message and, and the word to Gen X is to say that you can do this. You can turn your life around. It's never too late. I did, and I'm continuing to do so. And I feel like I'm 25. Mentally, I know I am very wise, very sharp, aware, in tune with reality versus what today's culture, where today's culture is going or driving at or toward. Very aware. And I'm very grateful to have come from a generation that actually had a more of a level head because those same foundation, those same foundational principles are, are actually coming into play now. Like when you look at reality today and the media and what they're trying to push down upon us as a society, I'm so glad that I'm Gen X because I, I can see the stark differences. Our generation has gone completely like overlooked, like, underestimated but i see more and more opportunities for people like myself to come in to the marketplace introduce myself share my stories give you a little preview into my life you know the guy behind me kobe bryant right he's also a young gen xer and he passed away early as a gen xer He comes from an environment, a climate where there was no soft era. There was no time for your feelings to get hurt. There was no room for that. There was no such thing as toxic mascul masculinity. Now you take Kobe and now you go back to Michael Jordan's era. That's a completely different ball game. There are very few people that continue to, to, to pave the way and chart, you know, the next on to the next. Kobe was one of the few that actually carried it over. That kept that Gen X mentality. That kill or be killed. Hunt or be hunted mentality. And I'm so blessed to have seen Michael Jordan retire. I actually came to America and saw him win three championships. The last three. And then Kobe Bryant came into the picture. And I'm so glad to have been exposed to mentors like, like them. You know, last of the dying breeds. We have a few in the NBA today. But uh, I always wonder what happened to the martial arts movies and why we stopped making movies like Rambo, you know, fighting movies. There's something about, you know, an underdog rising from the ashes, from all odds against you. And then the finale, the climax is... The story, right? The journey, and you see that win, but it wasn't really about the win or the or the championship or the final fight. It was the journey, the story being told. Pain is part of the process. Getting hurt is part of the process. You're not gonna get out of. You're not gonna leave Earth unscathed. You got. There, there are gonna be battle scars. What is what I'm saying? There we go. I found the words. I have plenty of battle scars, mentally, psychologically. But I think there are bigger battles being fought today uh, in, in, the, in, in, in our young culture. That being silent and not speaking about your experiences and your views, you're sitting on a pot of gold. I'm not saying what I'm sharing is gold, but I feel that, not I feel, I know, because I'm not talking about my feelings. I know that these stories have a lot of value. And especially as Gen Xers, if I'm catching one or two of you, I hope you're smiling because you would appreciate these stories. There's a superhero and an action. There's a superhero and an action hero in every one of us. We just stopped. We just stopped trying. When I look at our fitness and our health conditions today, 
I see a lot of us Gen Xs, we don't even try anymore. Now, I, I mean, there are some good stories out there. What's promising is that I'm beginning to now slowly see a few Gen Xs in different nationalities, ethnicities, backgrounds, making a U-turn in their health, their priorities, self-care, wanting to live a little longer, especially when we realize that people are actually dying and we're in the, in the middle of the pack right now, meaning we are the next generation before you know, we start going on the other side, slowly fading away. Why wait? Might as well start sharing our knowledge. And I do hope you found value in this and can appreciate me just freely speaking my mind, sharing some stories, that it's not too late to get your life turned around. It's easier today than ever to compete. Let me repeat that. It's easier today to win and compete than ever before, despite the fact that we are passing through the toughest economic times and one of the scariest times as well. But still, there's, there's, it's one of the easiest times to make it, I think. And it all starts within, internally, health-wise, and mentally. And us Gen Xs, I really believe we have a lot of wisdom, a lot of knowledge. And a lot of the answers we are seeking to our own personal lives actually lie within us, our stories. Historically, I urge you to look back and see what version of yourself you would like to be back then, right? You will never be 25. But what version of that can you bring to the forefront and maybe tweak that a little bit? And it's through exercise. It's through self-care. It's through, it's through nutri nutrition, better sleep, low stress, managing your alcohol. All of these things come into play. Lastly, no, don't argue. Lastly, not arguing with Gen Zs. I'm done with that. Let them be. This, hopefully it finds the people it needs to find and, and, and do its thing. All right. Whew, I feel great talking this way. I feel relieved, actually. It's therapeutic. I, I, can, go, I can continue talking. But I got to save some gas for the next video. All right. Thanks for watching. Mamba out.